the Oklahoma Council for Indian Education host began the Oklahoma Indian Student Honor Society in 1990. Um, it started with over 300 students. To date, uh, we, after tonight, we will have inducted 10,041 American Indian students into the Honor Society. Students have to maintain a cumulative GPA, grade point average of 3.9 GPA. They also have to be a tribal member or citizen or show proof of Indian blood. Um, they have to demonstrate leadership in their community as well as the American Indian community. By that they have to demonstrate or show uh, cultural activities in the application. Um, every year we select three scholarship recipients and tonight we will be uh, recognizing the three students, one from Tahlequah, I don't know their names right out, Tahlequah, Ada, and I forget the other high school. But um, the Oklahoma Council for Indian Education um, host this every year. We are a nonprofit organization, statewide organization of American Indian educators, um, representing tribal education departments, Indian education programs, and you know just education schools, school teachers, and so forth. Um, we have a 17-member board, and uh, we just work solely on helping in any way our American Indian students in our public schools. It's one of the most rewarding aspects of our organization. Um, we host a challenge bowl where we help kids learn about their American Indian history and culture, and that's great and that helps our students, but we highlight American Indian students setting high academic standards, uh, celebrate the academic excellence that they are pursuing in maintaining the cumulative GPA. And we've had students with, with uh, 3.9 GPA or better in the Honor Society every year. And so it's such a high achieving standard the student and family have committed to and we want to take, to take time to recognize them for that. If you compare our American Indian educational success uh, nationwide, our Oklahoma Indian students are do, are do much better compared to the counterparts nationwide. There are a lot of improvements, improvements need to be made between school districts and tribes, working with tribal education departments so that we uh, team tag to uh, make gains and help our struggling students. But for the most part, I believe that we are, we lead the nation, but there are a lot, much improvement that needs, still needs to be made. I think the emphasis on working with American Indian students, um, we need to highlight and push our students to higher levels of academic excellence, uh, academic achievement, um, to help bring up the ones that are are not uh, doing so well. We highlight the successes, the achievements of those, you know, leading our kids in second grade. Look up to those kids that are are doing really well. I think that's um, that's what we've kind of been working on in Norman as a statewide organization. We hope that uh, we do a better job in promoting, supporting, highlighting, recognizing our kids for their achievements, whether it be in school, athletics, uh, their tribe, their cultural activities, what have you. It's just um, recognizing the success our kids are having.